Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Grumbling Gamer YouTube channel. Today I stocked up on a bunch of PSA cards. I'm actually going to be um, reselling those so I'll put my account uh, link in the description. Um, I'll sell them on eBay and possibly TCG Player and if you guys are interested um, go ahead and uh, jump over there and uh, acquire those cards for yourself. Uh, and if you have any questions, of course, you can reach me on my uh, comment and emails or email that's attached to this YouTube channel. All right. So with that, let's start fresh. All right. So first pack, we've got, um, again, I'm trying not to show you the address. So I'll put it over here. And you got to be super careful about opening these bubble mailers because if it's a first timer, they may have put the card in the wrong location, and this has happened to me. Um, the card is then destroyed. So I'm not a big fan of doing overtaping. Overpacking is better. Overpack it any day of the week for me. Look, I even gave Goodwill a long time ago a rave review and called them and said, "Hey, great job packing. Problem is." You sent me 200 boxes instead of uh, putting things in the same box. So, uh, there's that. This one's taking forever to open. All right. It's like it's attached or something. It is. They taped the inside as well. Jeez. Oh, we're going to have to cut the name out of there. Well, that's okay. I was going to edit this anyway. And now we have to. And as you can see, they literally packed another bubble mailer on top with another bubble mailer inside of that. All right, so that's our step. Feels like it's a PSA card. Um, so what I'm actually going to do then is see if I can open up some more packs here. And then we'll, I might do a video restart if they all come out uh, hidden like this because I, I would prefer it that way. So let's see how we open this one. See, so this once again, it's taped crazy. Um, I would use my heat gun, but you, heat guns and cards do not match whatsoever. And if you didn't know that, um, you are not a rocket scientist. All right. So there are PSA cards in there. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off actually real quick and we'll restart the video. All right, everybody, and welcome back to the Grumbling Gamer YouTube channel. As you can probably see here, we have quite the haul. Also includes these three, this package, and we have uh, six more packages on the ground that are boxed that I probably won't be able to get to today. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys what I do when I restock um, my accounts and uh, get sales going again. Lately, I've been kind of taking a little bit of a break because it takes a lot of time and effort with my main job to continue to do that. Um, but I was like, hey, got a wild hair and said I'm going to do it today or this week. And so with that being said, we have a tremendous amount of PSA cards and other trinkets and rare cards that I thought were very much so up this uh, video's alley or this channel's alley and uh, I wanted to get started some of these I already pre-opened because I didn't want to give up the address so let us set a task right so first thing we have is a moss assorted fruit no we have a pack of what looks to be Pokemon cards so these actually could have come from Goodwill but we will figure that out all right, interesting packing. I mean, I do like the creativity on this, but uh, next time, sir, if you can, uh, slab them all out one by one. Just put them in cardboard, box, cardboard pieces, please. It would be perfect for you. Either way, thank you for the cards and thank you for the purchase, or thank you for letting me uh, purchase them for me. Okay, so we have, oh, it's Steven taped on the bottom, okay. Out. Sorry, guys. 
right, so this is, based on the speed I'm going right now, this is going to be a multi-part video, <laughs> which doesn't hurt me, helps me in the algorithm, um, but I figured I would knock it all out for you guys in one pop. All right, so first off, actually, let me show you what I got in the mail yesterday and decided uh, this is why I had to make videos. I got a Dark Weezing Hollow Mint 9. I've got a uh, Friends in Galar Gem Mint 10. Let me get that off my fingernail. And I also got a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Magneton Hollow. So looking good so far. Um, I think I'm gonna go PSA going forward, man. I think it's the way to go for my collections. So what the guy sent me was C-Dot, Grokey, Slizzlipede, Mary, Blitzel, Morpico, Slowpoke, Ralts, Shuppet, uh, Yamask, Trap Inch, Nicket, Kufant, Eevee, uh, I believe that Eevee is a like a alternate art Eevee, but I can't remember. Luluxalu, uh, Flotazol, Dartrix, Agatha, and Tropius. What we really wanted from this, this here, this is a Jinx first, uh, this is first edition, this is regular. Um, looks kind of interesting, so hold on. I'm kind of curious now. Oh, there we go, looks a little better. But compared to, well, the wording's okay. So this, is a high quality Jinx basic set card, base set card. Has a little bit of a nick there. Um, maybe one of the cards I send out to PSA. So that's our first drop, guys. So let's, get, let's keep it going. Let's keep it civil in the chat if we can. And let's move from there. All right, so I haven't opened this pack at all. Um, I decided that I was gonna open some packs that had to be opened in order for me to not spill the beans, but uh, Unfortunately, it looks like somebody did already try and open this. And here we go. Erica's Bulbasaur, first edition, mint nine. So what you'll see is a uh, majority of these are going to come out and they're going to be nines and tens. I did get a little adventurous and go eight, but I am worried about the value of going eight. Um, kind of scares me on because it can just wishy wash, wishy wash. I saw a card that was. $26 and then somebody listed it on, on, on an aid for $6. Everybody's losing at that point. I mean, based on the cost of PSA. And look, I haven't been doing a lot of PSA grading. Got my cards in there right now grading about 20 of them, maybe 10. Um, it's not cheap. So let's see what we've got in our handy dandy eBay bag. Okay. So this one does, looks like it comes with a note. So let me pull out the note real quick. Right, I'm not gonna, not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Okay, no looking, no looking. All right, 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 all right. Probably an invoice, I feel kind of bad. If it's a good writing, I will go ahead. Um, okay, so it actually says, Oh, thank you for purchasing my product. I appreciate your business. Each one is important to me. Um, and I'm always looking for a hobby. And if I just have my, my personal collection, uh, let's see. Cards of my personal collection. I'll treat all cards the utmost for, for protection and respect. Packages. This is weird. I'll have to read this again off camera. Um, interesting kind of uh, information. <laughs> I didn't want to say the guy's name either. So, seems like a nice fellow though. Um, they're very appreciative that I've been pulling from their, um, from Goodwill, which I'm still trying to continue to do, but at a smaller scale. Um, it just, I, I can't, I got the value of doing it and having to sit there overnight and slab cards up, or not slab cards, but put cards inside of protectors and post things and add to the collection was getting very, very, I'm getting very, very uh, tiresome, especially for me and my family. All right, so we got some magic cards here. We have Chance Met Elves, and I don't know why I got Chance Met Elves, but let's see. Uh, 
I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a second card behind it. I'd love to see what card that is. So the card in the middle is you cannot pass. Um, and then Saruman the White and Chance Met Elves. <clears throat> That one I'm gonna take a look at because I don't think I ordered that. So let me go ahead and look this guy up. And so Yeah, so we have to figure out where that came from because those cards don't seem... There's got to be a reason why, or it must be like an error, an art illustration error or something, but uh, that makes no sense to me. So we'll kind of go from there. All right, continuing on. Now we're eight minutes in. Eight minutes deep. Probably going to see multiple parts. So let's do another eBay. This one's also from Eric Wilson. I wonder if he just gave me a bunch of cards. I'm going to have to reach out to him and talk to him. Curious now. And curiosity killed the cat, but not not the grumbler. Not the grumbling gamer, man. The guy's still going. He's going hard in the paint. Every day he's hustling, hustling, hustling. At least that's what he likes to think. When life doesn't hit him down. Hit him down. Life keeps him lemonade. Alright, so we've got another note. This does look like it's the same kind of dealer. Let's just do this a little better. Thank you for purchasing my products. It means a lot to me. Let's see what these are exactly. I'm really hoping that <clears throat> there's a reason to this because, okay, Call of the Ring. I have plenty of these Call of the Rings though, so I'm not sure. And I sure hope he gives me a note to kind of go over these things. There we go. Call of the Ring. Oh, I see something I like. I think I know what it is. Now this makes a bit more sense. All right, so we have Call of the Ring is our first card. We have Elephant, Elephant it's the second card. We have Gathmog, Morgul Lieutenant, which is the third card. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Samwise Gamgee. Jiza and Garof. Saradoc, Master of Buckland. Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Eleanor, Gardener. And Glamdring. So, I mean, the cards aren't that bad. I'm just wondering, where is the end game here? Mr. Eric, so you did it again. I don't. I know I didn't buy five things from you. Not complaining. I don't just don't know what's going on. Okay. So same same style again. And same note again. And this is going to be it's an interesting start to my night. I almost got a cardboard cut. That would have sucked. Um, all right, so a Lothlorian lookout. Still confused. So I've worn the wise. Quick beam, absurd end, lost to legend, and friendly rivalry. R01 Amundal, Legolas counter of kills. Like I said, I have all of these cards, so I'm very confused. Well, we'll continue. He's got one more in here for me. So maybe this is the heavy hitter, and I just got them all wrong. Okay. But 11 minutes in, no major hits. Other than, well, I do have major hits. Alright, so, once again, same dealio, same message. D 
different hobby armor. Okay. Could be getting somewhere finally. All right. We have fiery inscription. We have isolation, Morthonic, Dundanian Rangers, Slip on the Ring, The Battle of Bywater, Elrond, Master of Healing, Vial of Godriel, Goldberry, River Daughter, Dundanian, Kribin, and Many Partings. So, with that being said, I'm going to have to look back and see what I was thinking if I bought all these. These did come off of eBay, so we'll have to figure this out. So just give me one sec. Let me get back to you guys. Okay, I was mistaken with the Eric Adams thing. He's actually, um, I was refilling some pieces that I needed for my store, so actually not as bummed. <laughs> I was there for a second like, hey! It turns out he wasn't from eBay, he was from, he was from Murakai? Okay. All right, let's open the next one. So we should be open, open pretty easily. Can you guys see me opening these? And this is PSA graded card. Well, this is not a PSA graded card, but this is a Snorlax Player One Services 9 Mint which will probably have it resubmitted uh, re and then gonna go from there. So that one's not immediately gonna go up. Um, you can see I put little stickers for my address that, if you guys wanna find me, I know you can find me. I just don't wanna have to deal with having to, uh, well, you're not gonna wanna see me on my property. <laughs> All right, so we've got another pack. Oh, it's not my address, okay. So we have a Rocket Sneasel, Gem 10 PSA, 2003, best of game. So that's great to see. All right. Let's do the Andrew Carter, and I love the little bubble wrap pullers they have on there. I did until I just broke one. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got this one. And I appreciate when people do the double stuff as much as they can into, uh, while saving on packaging. Uh, I get that as a seller of things. Um, I also sell comic books. I sell um, the greens, video games, vintage, that kind of stuff. Um, I took a break on the card game, but I saw it's been a little bit low right now. So, uh, yeah. All right, so now we have our first Japanese card. It's going to be... The Mew Mint V Star Universe. So looks very good condition. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna put the Eric Wilson cards off to the side because I know what those are already and you guys aren't gonna care about that. I reopened this, but I didn't open open. So these are also cards that are going to be due, I think, if, those, if they're Beckett, they stay where they're at. They are Beckett. Okay. So these will all go into a, a sleeve protector as well. This is my first Beckett gym, uh, gem mint 9.5. Got centering issues, edges are 9, and surface is 9.5. So looks pretty good. Got a little bit of a bend, so I don't think I'll be redoing that one because Beckett is super, super legitimate. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next one here. So just give me one second here. All right, guys, continuing with our eBay unboxing for uh, things I'll be listing and things out of the collection. Um, here's our next one. So we've a Mr. I'm not gonna say all the names, there's really, I shouldn't be saying people's names. But let's see what I got. Yeah, blue Yeti box, huh? Well, let's see what's in here. <laughs> if I can actually just do it this way. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so for this we have a base Tingla, a base Dugong, and a base Poliwog. Okay. And the same seller. Mission, man, mission, and on a mission, Pokemon card. So another blue, this guy must have got two mics. Crazy. He's crazy for getting two mics. What does he need two mics for, huh? Well, sir, I don't know. So I cannot read minds. But, in this case, I just poke, like poke myself in the hand. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Fossil Ammonite and a Fossil Tentacle. Cool, so those ones are not graded. Those are just cards that I like and we'll, we'll see if I, we'll go back and do some double checks and see how they look. Um, this one is interesting. Came in a very, very thin packaging. So I'm gonna cut it from the top very lightly. I don't cut into anything. So I don't know if it's a card or what. Um, I'm assuming it's a card. But I honestly couldn't tell you. Let's see, this is so this is a card. And the packaging is not very good on this one. Envelope slip here. Not really going to keep the card safe, so we'll see how the condition of the card is. And it will need to be returned. It's two cards. We've got a Diglett and we've got a Graveler. So those are also vintage cards. Pretty nice. And then I've got a, another pack here. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. And for this one, I got a couple more cards that I thought were pretty interesting. So I got a Vaporeon, a Weedle, a Vinci, Zora, Charcadet, Baxcalibur, Pidgey, Decideye, Luxio, Claydol, Hunchcrow, Orbeetle, Garmaton, Talonflame, Rillaboom, Togekiss, Colossal, Banette, Turinar, and a V-Star Red Drago. If you know what that's all about, you know I'm taking these cards over and they're gonna go to PSA. And the reverses are nice too. And the cute little sticker I give you. Let's get to go. Here. All right, so on to the next pack. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. I'm gonna use my reactive yeah, scissors. I use these packs too for certain things. Um, when I'm selling cheaper, like parts, electronics, and stuff. So. I get the initiative, but these really don't do so hot um, with the post office. I've had stuff come back horrible shape. Okay. Oh, look at this. PSA 10 Mirrodon. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is a beautiful card. Comes with... Ooh, you guys are gonna love this. A Radiant Drachi and a Radiant Asumi. Uh, Tessarina. So both of those will automatically, without anything being said, will go to PSA. Whoop. I got cards everywhere. I got cards I don't know what to do with. One second. Let me move some of these cards out of the way. I'll get to those after the video. Um, but yeah, super cool. Super cool stuff. So if, if you, if you kind of see a, a uh, pattern here then yes you are right i am going to be taking these cards to psa um to just do this and then just get the pricing done i, I am doing the halloween special which i am not a partner for psa if you hear me reach out to me 
I would love to work with you guys. All right. Moving on to the next pack, folks. Let's just put the little, nice little Articuno over here. Oh, put Porygon. I don't want to scratch the Porygon. Take that and put that over there. All right, next pack. Let's see what we've got in here. People just love to ship these in the cardboard. It's like PSA taught them how to do this. <laughs> it is the way they want it done, but I'm not PSA. All right, so we've got some PSA cards here. Like I said, all of these PSAs are gonna be going up online for you guys to bid on. Um, in separate short videos, I'll be adding um, the link you can go to to bid on these. But right here, you can see it on video. This is the cards that you're getting. Um, and then I'll do a quick run through again on a different video showing them off. So I got the Jolteon GX from Japan Sun and Moon. It's a nine mint. Then I've got a Aerodactyl, uh, Lost Origin, nine mint. So yeah, there we go from there. So it's just getting ready for war here. got to get everything listed. Holiday season's coming up. Prices are going to get inflated. It is time to sell what I can sell, what I want to keep. Uh, I'm going to be a great president. My birthday's on the 23rd. <laughs> you know what to give me? And then, all right, let's do, you guys know these guys. We all know these guys, TCG player. If they could give me that dang software for the, uh, for the scanners, they don't, they don't support anymore. I'd be super stoked. Anyway, here we go. Look at that. That is multiple cards put into one. Not only that, those are all masterpiece cards. So thanks TSA, or not T TCG. Yeah, thank you, TSA, too. Good job looking out. These are not cheap. I realize they're going down in volume, but that's why I'm buying them. They're not going to go down tremendously. I've had I have the same cards in my yeah, in my uh, little safe downstairs, so I know what they do. But you just can't get around this type of. Uh, art and the way the cards cut and everything they're just you know this is what they are so we have divert we have sonder we have mouse stream pulse and then we have through the breach i might do psa ranking on those i'm not quite sure yet um but you know everything's up in the air to be determined tcg player guys please 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 don't put every card in the same sleeve for me. Thank you. All right. All right, so I got a big pack here. Oh, here we go, guys. This is the good stuff. This is what we've been looking for. This whole dang video is this is what we've been waiting for. And like I say, I'll say it again, he's... Uh, if, unless I see something absolutely beautiful, these are going out for auction. They will be going on um, eBay, possibly Mer Mer Mercari as well. Um, probably eBay because of the protections. But these are the cards. So check this out. You don't get to see these every day. I don't get to see these every day. So let me put the camera over here a little bit. All right. First card. Original form. Oh, let me take the tape off. This side. This is super exciting. Kind of nervous. All right, ready? We have the Pelica V Star original form card, grade nine. We have the original form Pelica again, 
just a different type. So this one is the secret. This is the non-secret. This is mint nine. We have a Arcanine EX, beautiful looking card. Mint nine. Let me just show you these two again on the back. Palka, there's the back. Palka, there's the back. All right, and then next we have Gardevoir, Mint 9. And I remember, you can scan these little QR codes on the back just to make sure these are legitimate, and these all are legitimate. So, and if you have any questions about documentation, I can get that for you. You can get our request, request anything you need. All right, we also have the 2023 Pokemon S-V-I-E-N Gyarados EX. Once again, another Mint 9. We have a Rayquaza VMAX Mint 9 from Silver Tempest. Tempest. I actually got a, one that came in the mail. Um, that was not, I did the box shot GG thing and I'll do a video over that sometime. Um, I beat the house. Made $155 in Pokemon cards for over a hundred. Did I beat it though? Cause all the stuff he had to do. Yeah. We have a graded first edition pincer, mint nine graded guys. So we went from joking around to getting real, real serious with what we are doing here at Grumbling Gamer headquarters. The headquarters of the Grumbling Gamer. All right, so now I'm excited. Now we're cooking with freaking peanut oil. All right, or whatever oil you like to cook with. I don't know, who cares? I care actually. Tell me in the like. Tell me in the comments. Like, and subscribe, like that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if this is still going to be something that. I, oh, it is. Okay. Let me make sure I got all this. Make sure, there's nothing else in the bag. Like something cool. Like, hey man, I got you this extra. You know, extra PSA card on the side. I think you'll love it. Yeah, I'm not that cool. So I have a gem ten. Cinderace VMAX 2020 right here. All of these will be coming in these little PSA sleeves as well to keep them from being scratched. Remember, if you, if you do end up having something get damaged, you can always contact PSA and they will replace it for you um, and make sure you don't, have, you don't have a broken product. So that's a huge, huge thing for me. Um, Better shopping for you. Not sure what I have here. Let's see. Oh. All right, so this is another thing I'm gonna be, I don't know if I'm gonna list them right now, but it is, it is winter and it is Christmas time. So my idea was to sell a set of Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond uh, decks for Commander decks. I do have all four. I do know they're increasing tremendously in value and I want to hit that at the right time. So there's that, another box to add. I only have one set guys. So I don't know, you know, I don't know my own company of, of uh, card sellers. So can't go buy everything. I could buy a lot. <laughs> Remember it's gotta be paid for though, right? All right, so then here we go. We have two of these. We have two Lorcana first chapter but what are they? They are art cards. So these are special cards. These are not just regular packs. So I'm looking for those alternate arts. Okay, so that's gonna happen in a different video at a different time. We're not gonna mix those together. We need to keep the content going. You know, the content machine is everything. Everybody kind of knows about all that. I know now too. Got a list every day. Got to set a video out every day. Couple shorts here and there. Just engage the community. All right, so I have another PSA rate card. This might be my baseball card, so give me a second if it is. Um, I just got a Mookie Betts for $15 rookie card. So I don't know if you know baseball, but just kind of cool to have. No, so the way the guy did this, this is perfect. Oh, there's the, how much it cost me. But uh, this is perfect. That's how you do it. All right. Sydney. Mint 9. Fusion Strike Secret. 
Can't wait to add these to the store. Get them on there, get some community feedback. Um, okay, so let's go into the cards that I got in the mail, um, post office. And you guys, uh, I also recommend going to your local post office. If you start doing collecting and buying in bulk, please, the ladies there will appreciate it if you just go over there and say, hey, look, I know I'm getting a lot of stuff in. Can you hold on to it for me? And then give me a call and uh, I can come pick and, and uh, I'll come pick it up. They'll love you for it. Get them a gift too while you're at it. I'm gonna get, I'll make sure they all get little gift cards. I don't know the max you can give a government employee, but they're gonna get something. All right, so what do we have here? Ah, so do you see what's happening now? I'm collecting all of these. These are going out to PSA and yeah, I think those are gonna be private collection. Those are when my wife and I first met. Um, we were looking for those. We were cracking boxes from Target and, uh, well, we were cracking uh, packs from Target and boxes from our local card place and looking and looking and looking. Um, they're not as valuable as they used to be, if you saw the price, but uh, they're called masterpieces. Kaladesh and Amenket. I believe Kaladesh is the more expensive ones, which we got a lot more of. Um, just makes me nostalgic, you know? The good times. No, no, no. We have two beautiful kids right now. They're doing great. We're healthy. We got a good got a good environment for them. Got a good place to live. A little crime. You know, that kind of stuff. All right. Let's see. Let's see what that, I'm trying not to, to get a cardboard cut. It's very easy, it seems like. All right. So here you go. This is another one. Another artifact, or not artifact, another masterpiece card from Amon Ket. Amon Ket, I guess, got blasted because they made the same card in another set, but it's different art. Uh, maybe they just got to switch to the whole Pokemon deal and say, hey, look, this is a different card. And I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know how I'm going to open this, by the way. Oh my gosh, it came so close to the card. Ooh. Jeez Louise, I understand it says fragile on the back, but come on. Fish, fish. Ah, Blaine's Charmeleon. So there's a reason why I have this. I got Blaine's Charmander and Blaine's Charizard. Guess what? PSAing them all. Let me make sure that one's gonna look good. Um, just give me a second. Real quick, that little thing on here. So we do have a little bit of whitening on the lower right-hand side. Don't think it's gonna hit PSA 10. A little whitening on uh, on every corner. Does look like it is centered, okay. Uh, and looks good in the back. So it looks like we got a winner here. You know, and I don't mind my set not being 10. It's just cool to have right all right folks we have a couple more boxes and then i am going to get out of your hair for the night so let me go ahead and pause the video and we will do a part three hey guys uh, it's the grumbling gamer here and uh we're gonna go ahead and open some additional stuff that i got from uh, order so let me just pull that out I don't know how you guys the night's going. I've been doing all right. Let's see. I'm going to open this one out here. All right. So it looks like we have a PSA graded card in here. This is going to be a near mint eight bills maintenance. There's the front and the back. 
I think I told you guys this before, but I am going to be listing these on my main store on eBay. And um, I'll probably also put them on uh, Macari as well. Let me see if I can get this open. Their trio. Japanese version. <laughs> without opening the product, without trying to show your address. Okay. All right, there we go. See what we've got here. All right. It's looking like we have another graded product. This is going to be a Kingdra Mint 10. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. All right. On to the next one. If you guys notice I'm whispering, it's because my family's trying to sleep. I want to get this video in, though. Oh, get out. Okay. Sorry. Good Christmas. So these are going right back out. <laughs> I like these little bubble mailers. I might use these. I'm going to see these ducks. Oh, look at this. Give me extra cards. Alright, so I got a 9 mint Galarian Darmation Darmaton Vivid Voltage 2020. There's the card there. Put that in the stack there. He also gave me a Xerneas and a Houndor. I'll add those over here. And I'll try and get the second card open without cutting anything up. Hmm. He must have had some sort of special going on. I didn't notice at all. So let's take those two. Oh, three. So we have an XY Pokedex, a Clefairy, and a Licky a Licky. licky. <laughs> those are cool. Actually, these are not sitting right there, so we're going to move those over there. Alright, so we have here is a... Interesting. So the yellow um, markings I was showing you guys I was missing on my cards. It looks like that's a... It's an industry standard deal. So I should be able to grade a lot more cards that I have been getting in. So this is a Mint 9, Empoleon, FB Hollow. There's the back. There's the QR if you want to get a better look at it. Right. Okay, let's so we'll get this. First off, we have a Pokemon regular card. So this is going to be a base Charmander, pretty good condition. I'll go ahead and put that in here with where it belongs. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, 
Okay, so we have a Jungle Furo. Exquisite condition as well. Exquisite condition. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Oh, something I really don't have. A Kabuto to go with my Kabutops. Um, let's see, he's a little beat up on the bottom here. So he's not, he can't go out for grading, but he can go into the collection. Oh, look at this. Quavel EX Mint 9. So let me see where did I give it a 9 at. Centering. Yeah, it's to the right a little bit. Okay. It's much harder than anything to keep you guys from seeing it. Well, true. Here. Okay, okay. So let's start with the package here. This one I'm fairly excited about. I believe this is the Mew 2 set that I acquired off of eBay. Mew 2 with Mew, Dragonite with Sizor, Mew 2 with Arcanine. These are gonna to have to be moved out of their cases when they get a chance to. But, for better or for worse, they look like they're in great condition. And there are promos. Okay. Okay, this one is, oh, good. So, so we have a Goldie, Shelder, Oddish, Slowpoke, Horsey, Krabby, and a Starmie. So you could probably tell I am still fleshing out the collection. Right there. We'll leave these for like probably last. Continue over here.
So you, you just saw you just saw me drop all of my arcana cards. Okay, I believe that is all the cards there. Actually, I hope so. That was a big fail. Alright, so we have a bunch of regular um, Arcana cards. Me and my wife decided we are going to join a league, most likely. So, with that being said, we have to stack up our cards. I haven't done this in a very long time, so I'm very excited to face up decks. Got a Cruella de Vil. Thankfully she didn't get beat up. Develop your brain. Captain Hook, Captain Hook, Captain Hook. Kristoff, Kristoff. Tangle. Tangle the Goons. Maximus. Yasma. Hortus. I think Hortus is the one that got beat up. Alright. And we have Olaf. Take this forward from here. Let's call for him. Sergeant Tibbs, Jaspers, Donald Ducks, Dingle Hoppers, some more Dingle Hoppers. Got ourselves another Stitch. Got ourselves a Maurice. Got ourselves a Lefau. Lefau. Got ourselves a Hades. Jafar, the Wardrobe. Iago, he's got a sword. Prince Eric, Prince Eric. Pongo and Maui. So pretty much with this being this between this and that pack over here, we should have almost a complete set. Of course it this does not include um alternates, but that's okay. Alternates are expensive. Tibbs, Pongo, Peter Pan, Rafiki, Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Olaf, Flounder, Flounder, Floundering like I am right now, Ransack, Frying Pan, Jafar, Dr. Felicia's cards, Dr. Felicia, that's the mythic of him. So that is the first stack. Alright. Okay, so we got more goons, Captain Hooks, which is more stitches, Minnie Mouses, Mickey's, Maximus, Megara, Mad Hatter, Iago, Horus, Stolen Scimitar, Vicious Betrayal, Steal from the Rich, Rafiki, Pascal, Olaf, Friends on the Other Side, Gizmo, the Wardrobe. dog saying hi to me. Got another um, Mythic Stitch, Sergeant Tibbs, Cerberus, Duke of Weaselton, Agara, Cinderella's, Mother Knows Best, Peter Pan's, Mickey Mouse, Lefeu, Mythic, Donald Duck, Captain, Aladdin, a normal Grapunzel, another Chlorella de Vil, um, Aladdin, one Jump Ahead, if you remember that song, Sergeant Tibbs, Scar, more Rapunzel's, more Pongo's, Shield of Virtue. Okay. And then for the last one, it's 
pretty much the same kind of deal here. Just take all these and start here. We've got Goofy's, Aurora's, Jetsam, Jafar's, Votsam, Epic, Dr. Priscilla, Dingle Top, Jingle to Hopper, Pirate of Yoro, Kamatata, Maleficent, Magic Broom, Ariel, Captain Hook, Dingle Hopper, Beast, Magic Golden Flower, Coconut Basket, Frying Pan, Smash, Ransack, Ransack, Fire the Cannons, Prince Eric, Kristoff, and Sven, and Donald Duck alternate. So there's that one. And then we have our final pack right here. Shield of Virgil, he's got a sword, he's got a sword, Dragonfire, 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 Main House, Philo, Maleficent, Dr. Police here, Beast, Ariel, Grandma Tila, Kristoff, Captain Hook, Friends on the other side, you control your temper, develop your brain, Mufasa, oh, Maleficent, uh, Mythic, Mickey Mouse, oh, very close to that one, Jasmine, Grandma Tila, Flounder, Aurora, Aurora, Musketeer Tabard, Aurora, Timotoro, Bragg, Ducal Weedleton, Wardrobe, Healing Glow, Jasmine, Sword of Truth, Magic Golden Flower, Moana, that's a mythic, Be Our Guest, Be Our Guest, and Stitch. So, that pretty much like uh, covers I think most of uh, all the bases. And then I think we have a little deck gives instructions on how to play. I did have one more. Oh. All right, so in fleshing out my magic collection, I got Desolation Angel. Looks like we'll be doing a couple cuts of this too. Do not bend. Do not bend. Oh, okay, cool. So, starting off, we have our Machamp. First edition. Can't wait to check out the back of that later. We have oh, I forgot how I opened this up without breaking it. Be on guest, be on guest. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the card, man. Cheers. Ah, okay, I'm seeing the light. Ah, okay, so this is a base set two Starmie. Great condition. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, this little bag's so good. And we have threads of disloyalty. So these are the two ones we got there. And our black vice solid condition as well and finally we have another kabuto because I wasn't sure about the condition of the first one <laughs> all right so that's it for openings today um, I will be back on my normal schedule tomorrow and we will try and get things opened for you guys to show things off and kind of go from there oh wait hold on I still have it's right here I don't know what this is Show you guys three things. All right, so also we have a rat again. You know what that means? Then we may have watched the first ever season of Pokemon. Ratata, nine, first edition. Super cool. All right, and then my two PSA cards here are. An eight, Dragon Master Knight, Japanese. And a nine, Utopia, Japanese. The nine is interesting because it does look like it's a little messed up in the front. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take a win when I can get a win, you know? All right. So now I think that is, that is it for today. All right. So guys, give me a, give me a like, give me a, a comment, give me a, a subscription whatever you can today is a tough day you probably hear my voice I'm pretty tired so um i'll see you guys tap that tomorrow i'll cut this video up for you so it doesn't sound so bad and uh i was looking forward to making some good plays and getting some good more good drops i'm playing gamer out